I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Go, go! A new year has fallen upon us yet again, viewers, and with every new year comes a new slate of movies that are sure to thrill our senses, expand our minds, and make us love the art of cinema all over again. Oh, and also there's Ride Along 2, the sequel that I guess somebody asked for to the hit buddy cop comedy starring Kevin Hart and Ice Cube. You see, it's movies like this that show the enduring popularity of the buddy cop formula, teaming up a tough-as-nails veteran cop with someone who's their total opposite, and watching the laughs ensue. And in the 1990s, these flicks came at us from all sides, pairing our classic action movie heroes with wise-cracking sidekicks. Alright guys, this time you've gone too far. Time to meet your new partners. Eastwood, you teamed up with Charlie Sheen. Reynolds, you're paired with an adorable black child. And Stallone, you're heading out with Sophia from the Golden Girls. Yes, today we're narrowing our sights on the 1992 flop that marked the low in the career of Mr. Sylvester Stallone, Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. I mean, that title just says it all, doesn't it? Just saying that title is the sound of an actor giving up his career and leaving. And when he did this flick after a series of financial and critical bombs, it looked like that was what Stallone was gonna do. And though his career would go on through a series of comebacks, with his latest turn as Rocky Balboa even earning him Oscar talk, Stallone has never been able to completely shake the shame from this movie off, even calling the movie maybe one of the worst films in the entire solar system, including alien productions we've never seen. Well, Sly, I have seen some of these alien productions, so it'll be hard for this movie to be any worse than Stop or My my Mars will shoot. I like this Wookie. <laughs> Anyway, our film begins by introducing our hero, Sergeant Joe Bomowski, a tough cop played by Stallone who helps bring down an illegal smuggling ring that includes a young Ving Rhames. Yes, before Marcellus Wallace had a band-aid at the back of his head, he had a Brillo pad back there. Did not know that, did you? But Joe is too preoccupied to enjoy his latest victory because he's fearing another visit from his overprotective mother, Tootie, played by Estelle Getty. Why is this hardened cop afraid of his own mother? Well, though Joe is a 40-something-year-old man, his mom insists on still treating him like a 10-year-old, even going so far as to clean his gun as if it was a pair of his undies. Go ahead. Make your bed. No, that doesn't happen, but Joe's mom does end up ruining his gun. So she decides to make it up to her son by buying him a new one from a pair of illegal arms dealers. But one of them gets shot dead by a pair of henchmen, one of whom is Chuck from the Ernest P. Worrell movies. <laughs> and Tootie is the only one who's able to provide eyewitness testimony to the cops, meaning she's stuck living with her son, which allows her to help with his case and his love life at the same time. And oh, does wackiness ever ensue! Note, wackiness will not fucking so yes, the first major problem you can see with this movie is that it's based on one fucking joke. Sylvester Stallone's mom still treats him like a child even though he's a grown man. This joke is not funny the first time and remains unfunny for the several other times. Because for a mother to keep treating her son like this, she has to be reeled with dementia or mentally challenged. And if Stallone was really sick of her shit, he'd shove her ass on the first plane back home. But Stallone's character is too much of a screaming pussy to do that. And he looks none too happy trying to make something out of these shitty sitcom jokes. His acting here only switches between three modes. Whiny? What do you mean, mommy? You've been cleaning your room. I mean, you took all the blue and all the- Angry? I'd say she loves you, Joe. Well, her love is driving me nuts. And just plain sad. And I'm just plain sad too, because the rest of this movie is just a retread of all the crap you've seen done before in buddy cop movies. All I want to do is come out there and talk with you. Don't you tell me what to do! I swear to God, I'm gonna do it! Do you really want to jump? And believe it or not, this formulaic dog shit was written by a dude who wrote books on how to write screenplays. What advice could he have possibly offered? And remember, you have to open the second act with the scene where the hero of your film dreams he's wearing a diaper. That really increases the dramatic stakes. So yeah, when Roger Ebert called this one, one of the, the worst, worst movies, movies I've, I've ever seen, seen, he really wasn't exaggerating. But I don't have the heart to say it's one of the worst I've ever seen, because it never pissed me off while I was watching it. And Estelle Getty does what she can with her part. But all in all, I'm going to have to agree with Norm Macdonald's assessment of this movie from that SNL sketch he did with Stallone when he said, He said, stop or my mom shoot sucked! One's a watcher of movies, the other is a bottle of beer. Together, they're going to hit the streets and fight off boredom by playing the awfully good drinking game. 
take a shot or drink every time Estelle Getty handles a gun. You know, the Golden Girls would have been an even better show if all the cast members had guns on the show. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road back. Sloane's mom shows people his baby pictures. Oh, please get rid of the pictures! Is he adorable? Oh, don't worry. I already have an idea of what Stallone would have looked like as a baby. <laughs> You hear them play the main theme music again. Okay. Okay. Okay what? This is the way we wash our guns. Wash our gun, wash our gun. Seriously, that's your theme music? That's not the music for a buddy cop comedy. That's the music for a fucking Pepperidge Farm commercial. Yes, Pepperidge Farm remembers. Though in the case of this movie, we wish we would forget. And take a double shot when Estelle Getty makes a Terminator joke. Just remember one thing. I'll be back. Oh, how funny that Stallone snuck that little joke at Arnold Schwarzenegger's expense, considering he was the one who tricked Stallone into doing this movie. <laughs> then take another double shot when Stallone delivers the titular line of the movie. No! Or my mom will shoot! And here, folks, is where you can see Stallone's sense of dignity literally leave his body like a spirit. No! Or my mom will shoot! Rambler's um and on the nudie watch, other than the beautiful sight of Stallone in diapers, you don't get much other than Gah! Stallone's ass bending toward the camera! P put it away! Put it away! Oh dear god, if he starts twerking, I swear I'll twerk, 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 twerk that ass. Okay, that's it! I'm killing myself! On the enjoyable discontinuum scale from Bull to Bruce, stop or my mom will shoot will make you want to shoot yourself if you don't stop watching this movie. And shoots down to two out of ten. Sorry, Stel Getty, but the only mother who intimidates me is Sylvester Stallone's actual mother. What's wrong with your face? I'm Jesse Shade for JoeBlow.com, and since tomorrow are the Oscar nominations, here's hoping that Sylvester Stallone will get a nomination for his work in Creed, and be able to have yet another comeback. We're rooting for you, Rock. And our final nominee for Best Supporting Actor is... Dolph Lundgren for Stop or My Grandma Will Shoot.